Here's an interesting consideration when you're working with AJAX. You might enable different AJAX fetches from the server at the same time. For example, here's a web page called double.html and it has two buttons and you click the display message button and you get this text was fetched using AJAX. Display message two button this text was also fetched using AJAX. The problem here is that if you use only one XML HTTP request object for both buttons, theoretically, when the user clicks one button, they may not wait for the text to be fetched, or it may be some delay in fetching the text across the internet, and they may click the second message button. That's going to cause a problem, as you know, because when you click one button, it sends off a request and the callback function will be called in JavaScript, the callback function connected to the on ready state change method function. And if that happens, if the user clicks one button and you only have one XML HTTP request object and then it clicks the other button, the response might be undefined because you're not sure which response you're getting. Is the response from the first request or is the response from the second request? In other words, you may mix the responses up in the callback functions. So the way around this is to use different XML HTTP request objects. Here's how that works in this example. This is double.html. This uses two different XML HTTP request objects. There are two buttons here, display message and display message 2 and to implement this and to make sure that the XML HTTP requests are sent off uniquely and asynchronously so that the, when the data returns it's going to come back to the correct callback function they'll be using this will be using two XML HTTP request objects and the first one is, is used in the get data function and the second one is used in the get data to function so this is going to get the text in data.text, the display message. Function is going to get the data in this, just in data.text, and that is this. This text was fetched using AJAX, and the get data to method is going to call, it's going to download the data in data2.text, which looks like this. This text was also fetched using AJAX. Okay, so there's two different files to fetch in order to do this, and because we're allowing the user to use multiple AJAX requests, because there are now two buttons, we're going to work with two different AJAX XML HTTP request objects. This is a starting point of being able to work with multiple requests and handle multiple requests at the same time. You may, of course, have more than two buttons, and we're going to take a look at that in the next segment, the next movie. In this case, there are, will be two XML HTTP request objects, as you see here. There's the first one, there's the second one, and we just create them like this, as you might expect. So now we have, now you have two XML HTTP request objects available for work. That is XML HTTP request object and XML HTTP request object two. The get data function is going to use the XML HTTP request object and as you see it's quite simple it just uses the request objects response text property and displays that in the target div and the get data to function is going to use XML HTTP request object 2 and just uses that object's response text to display its results in the inner HTML of the div object as you see so that's one way of working with, of handling multiple AJAX requests. The point here is that when you use, when you have the possibility of multiple AJAX requests, you have to keep them separate. Because if the first one completes after the second one has already been issued, you're not sure necessarily which one is, which request is calling the callback function. So if you only have one XML HTTP request object and multiple requests out there, you're not sure which request object is calling the callback function. So one way around that is to use two different XML HTTP request objects. That's a possible solution. However, it's not a complete solution because what if you had 40 different buttons? 
you'd have to have 40 different XML HTTP request objects. So in this case, this example showed a possible solution, double.html, showing you how to use two different XML HTTP request objects. However, it's not a, a real s final solution for this question because it is a shows you how to work with only two XML HTTP request objects, and you may need more. So we'll take a look at a better solution in the following segment.